Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at another laundry gadget I own, the Anina Soft Spin Dryer. I bought this years ago and I use it every time I do laundry. For my living situation, this product has proven very useful. A few years ago, I posted a long-term review of my Panda Compact Dryer and a couple people commented and recommended I check out this type of product. I decided to try one and I bought the Spin Dryer for $40 lightly used and cleaned it up. Nice. Today I'll tell you a bit about the product, how to use it, and we'll see how it works. To make sure you have the space for it, here are the dimensions. The spin dryer is approximately 14 inches wide and 24 inches tall. It has a large fold-down carrying handle on the top, and the product is surprisingly lightweight at only 16 pounds. It's very easy to carry around for setup and storage. This is a simple product. All it does is spin dry wet clothes at a very high speed. You load it up after you're done washing your clothes, and it spins out additional water that the washing machine could not. It does so by spinning at a much higher speed than most washing machines. This particular spin dryer spins at 1800 RPM, and many spin dryers sold today spin at 3200 RPM. The water it extracts is collected in a bowl or bucket you place under the dryer spout. This product is very useful for my laundry setup. I use a portable washing machine in my home that connects to my kitchen faucet, and I have a small 120 volt dryer. The dryer works well, but takes much longer than a typical full-size 240 volt dryer. If it's full, it can easily take over two hours. Part of the problem is that my washers can only spin out so much water. Now in your home, if you have a newer washing machine that spins clothes at 1400 RPM, this product may not make a useful difference. I own two washers, and neither have ultra-fast spin cycles. I checked both my washers, and the GE spin cycle is about 640 RPM. The Danby appears much faster, but I tested it at about 760 RPM. At 1800 RPM, the spin dryer spins clothes at over double the speed of the Danby and nearly triple the speed of the GE Spacemaker. According to my research, top loaders sold today still seem to hover at under 1000 RPM spin cycles, and front load washers can spin clothes much faster. Paired with any top loader today, this will still manage to pull out extra water that the washing machine could not. Using it has made a massive difference in how long it takes me to do laundry. Running clothes through this for six minutes or so between the washer and the dryer cuts the drying time in half. My dryer takes far longer than my washing machine, and it always created a bottleneck where I'd have to wait for the dryer to catch up to the washer. Using this machine allows the dryer to nearly keep up with the washer, and it allows me to do the chore of laundry much faster. If I'm doing several loads of laundry at a time, it literally takes hours less. The machine is easy to use, but you have to make sure you load it correctly so the dryer can stay balanced as it gets up to speed. I always load it with the heaviest items on the bottom and try to lay them somewhat evenly as I load it. Smaller items I'll load around the outside of the basket, again trying to keep everything balanced as it fills up. Once it's loaded, there's a disc or mat that you put on top and press down onto the clothes to help keep everything in place. Close the lid and within seconds you'll know whether or not the basket is balanced as it gets up to speed. After it's been running for a few seconds, the extracted water begins to spin out of the dryer. The dryer spins far faster than my washers, so it always extracts a lot of extra water. I let the machine typically run for six to eight minutes each time. I find after about six minutes, the water extraction slows down, so they're ready for the dryer or air drying. A nice feature of newer models is that they run on a timer and automatically stop. This Nina Soft runs indefinitely. Usually a full load of laundry in my GE or Dan B will need to be broken up into two loads for the spin dryer. Using this machine is definitely extra work as you're running the clothes through a third machine, but it saves so much time overall, allowing you to finish far more laundry in less time. This evening I did three loads of laundry, and here's how the spin dryer did. I measured this out and the machine extracted almost nine cups of water. This is all water that my dryer would normally have to take care of, so it saves the dryer a ton of time. This was the water collected after another laundry night with my GE washer, and the spin dryer again spun out over eight cups of extra water over the course of several cycles. So there you have it. I've been using this machine for a few years, and it's been extremely useful. Because I have a smaller portable washing machine, I often have to do several loads of laundry at once, and this allows me to do far more laundry in less time. I think a product like this will prove useful for many living situations. There's been a couple drawbacks adding this to my laundry routine. It adds extra steps to the chore of laundry. I have to set it up, use it twice after each full load of laundry, dump the water, and put it away afterwards. Having an extra laundry gadget like this around means more storage space is required too, and in smaller spaces that may be impractical. This would be great if you're air drying clothes, as it will speed up that process too. It's a little extra work, but it saves a ton of time. I always enjoy reading your comments. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.